Let's take a look at the new analysis and report tools available through the Vision Gauge software. We start off by loading in our CAD overlay and using the Auto Align tool to accurately align the overlay to the part. We can then start using our new tools. So with the analysis mode, we have the benefit of displaying cross-section information all along the tolerance band set on the overlay. And this allows the user to easily scan through the edge points and find the desired data. And you can see that through that little display box in the middle. So just need to hover along the profile and select the points you would like to display. And this can be great use to verify the deviation of edge points at critical areas of the part, such as pressure faces. And with all your information set on your screen, you then also have the option to either save or print the image that you selected. So you have the option shown over here. Then you have the report tool. And this outputs all the cross-section edge points along with their deviation from nominal. And it shows the limits and it shows if it's a pass or fail. From the list you can navigate through all of them and the selected one will be shown magnified on the screen. Another major benefit of this tool is the ability to save the point file from the report as either a CSV or a DXF file. Now the tool also has filtering options that allow the user to choose what is actually going to be reported. So for example, you can make it so only the maximum deviations of each entity group is displayed. Or you can even choose to only display the fail results or only display the pass results. So as you see, I can also hover through these results. Then, going back to the analysis tool, there are also settings that allow only failed points to be selected. And this way you can filter through the past results and highlight the failed edge points. So if we look at this part over here, I can go on the top and just hover through all the failed points. And you'll see if I go through past areas, nothing is being selected. And then, like before, I just display the edges that I want. And for the report, I can also choose to only display the max deviations of each entity. And now, since it's a larger part, I can go to the other end and do the same thing that I showed, but on this side of my part. So for example, I can go off the failed point, so now to show both pass and fail, and once again, hover along and get the points that I want to display on my screen. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you understand the new analysis and report tools.